So now let us work to create a complex material inside of Element 3D. So in order to do that, I'm going to go on to my Create menu right here, and then I'm going to select the sphere right here. So you can see that right now there's nothing interesting going on. So I just have my sphere uh, with white color on it. So I'm going to go on to the material option right here. I'm going to expand this out and I'm going to select the default right here. And over here, you can see that there's the diffuse color, reflectivity, refraction and illumination, which we're going to work around with. So I'm going to go over here and then on the basic setting, there's the diffuse color. So select the basic color of what you want the material to be. So I'm just going to select red right there, maybe a darker color red, maybe not too saturated. All right, press OK. So here I have my basic material and here you can see that there is a level of reflection of the environment and so forth. So let us work around with that. So you can work around with the diffuse color. As you can see right here, you can increase and decrease the diffuse color, get to the point where it is okay for you. Then we can work with the ambient color to have a bit of a change over there. And you can see, and you can see that there's this sharp edges in the reflection because the glossiness is 100%. I can reduce it out to have a blunt level of glossiness, as you can see. So I can simply reduce it out so that it gives a bit of a blur outlook. You can also go with the specular multiplier to have a more dynamic effect with the specular uh, environment right here. So you can see that now it is a bit more shiny right there. You can also multiply the environment to have a more dynamic effect on with the material. So let me just decrease that down onto the amount that I want. So here I have my basic material ready with the basic settings. So now let us work on with the reflectivity right here. And right now, what is happening is that it is reflecting off a white specular color, which looks a bit unnatural. So I'm going to go over here into color and you can select red, something like a bright red here and increase the level of reflectivity just like that. You can see that now the reflectivity is bright red. You can change the color of the reflectivity as you can see right here. So I'm going to go into something inter interesting like a blue color right here. So now I have a red ball right here with a blue reflectivity. This looks a bit natural, just like that. So you can increase and decrease the level of intensity according to what is required in your site. So I can go over here, select the level of blue color that I want to use. I can also go green for a unique effect. So I'm just going to select blue. So because and that looks much interesting. All right. So you can see that there's the reflective color and that is blue in color. But this environment color is a bit too much. So I'm going to reduce the environment multiplier right there. There you go. So there's my uh, reflective color right there. So I can go down right over here. Let's work with the refraction. Re reflectivity is what happens on the outside while ref refraction happens on the inside. So if I were to go this, you can see that now it completely removes the color and it acts more like a glass. So it looks much more like a transparent effect. So what I can do is I'm going to select the color on which I want to refract on. Like I'm going to select green to show you how it works out. Press OK. Increase the intensity and you can see that there's a green level of transparency as if there's a green glass and that creates an interesting effect. So I'm just going to select blue over here because I want to maintain the consistency and I'm going to decrease this out. Make this object a bit like transparent object right there. And I can also work with distortion to work with the environment distortion right here. So you can increase that out and you can see that there's the distortion level of the environment. I'm just going to leave it back that to default because I do not want any change over there. So finally, we can work with illumination. So in this case, I'm going to have an orange glow in between. So I'm going to choose orange right here press OK and I'm going to increase the intensity and there's the orange glow. So I'm, I'm just going to work with the first now option and increase this out uh, to inward just like this so that the center part glows more than the rest. So I can increase and decrease the first now bias as you can see. So increase this out, rotate it around and there you go. There's the inner glow just like that as you can see. And here we have a complex material ready which looks like uh, something else. So I can uh, save this as a preset. So I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to uh, save this as a material preset. I'm going to save this as a complex material, just like this. And you can see that that was qu quite easy to create right off the bat. I'm going to go into preset and going to go into physical layer. And over here in the bottom, 
I guess I saved it in the pros data or somewhere else. So on the materials itself, you can see I have it saved on the main folder. So now I can simply delete this. I can grab any of my model right here. Let's say for example, I'm go uh, going to grab this paint tin can and I can simply click and drag this complex material right here. And there you go, there's my material right there. I can also drag this out and there you go. There's my complex material on that paint lid. And you can see that there's the glow right there. There's the, um, there's the reflection right there with the green, yellow color and so forth. Let us try this out with another object. So let me just remove this out right here. Let me try it out with uh, this watch right here, this, um, uh, this alarm clock right here. Let me just click and drag it and you can see that now it gives a very unique look. So I got the reflection that I want and everything else right here. So that is how you can work with complex objects inside of Element 3D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.